Welcome to a lesson on how to determine the line of best fit using the least squares solutions. Suppose we want to find a line of best fit in the form of y equals mx plus b for the points 1 comma 6, 3 comma 2, and 7 comma 2 which I've already graphed on the coordinate plane on the right. If all the points were on the same line, then the ordered pairs would all satisfy the equation y equals mx plus b, and we can form a system of equations we're using the ordered pair 1 comma 6, the first equation would be 6 equals m times 1 plus b, where we substitute 6 for y and 1 for x. Using the ordered pair 3 comma 2, we would have the equation 2 equals m times 3 plus b. And using the third ordered pair of 7 comma 2, we would have the equation 2 equals m times 7 plus b. We can write the first equation in the form of m plus b equals 6, the second equation in the form of 3m plus b equals 2, and the third equation as 7m plus b equals 2. So if all three points were on the same line, all the ordered pairs would be solutions to the system of equations. Also notice how we could write this system in the form of a vector equation as matrix A times vector X equals vector B, where matrix A would be the coefficient matrix, which would have entries 1, 1 from the first equation, 3, 1 from the second equation, and 7, 1 from the third equation. Vector x would be the vector with entries m and b, where m is the slope and b is the vertical or y-intercept, and vector b would be the constants 6, 2, 2. But of course we know all three points cannot be on the same line, and therefore the system of equations, as well as the equation matrix A times vector x equals vector b, would have no solution. And let's go ahead and verify this. Let's first write the augmented matrix for the system or the matrix equation, where the first row is 1, 1, 6, the second row is 3, 1, 2, the third row is 7, 1, 2. Next, we write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. And notice how in the third row we have a contradiction. The third row indicates that 0 equals 1, which indicates the system or the equation matrix A times vector X equals vector B has no solution. And again, this was expected because there is not one line that contains all three points. But we can determine the slope and vertical intercept for the line of best fit by determining an approximate solution using the method of least squares. Let's do this on the next slide. Remember to compute a least squares solution, we first compute A transpose times A and A transpose times vector B. Number two, we form an augmented matrix for the matrix equation a transpose A times vector X equals A transpose times vector B, and then write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. The solution is the least squares solution, which will then give us the slope and the vertical intercept for the line of best fit. So let's first find A transpose given matrix A. Well, if the first column of matrix A is 1, 3, 7, this becomes the first row in A transpose. And if the second column of matrix A is 1, 1, 1, this becomes the second row in A transpose. And now we need to find A transpose times A, as well as A transpose times vector B. A transpose times A results in the two by two matrix with entries 59, 11, 11, 3. A transpose times vector B results in the two by one matrix with entries 26, 10. And now we need to write an augmented matrix for the equation A transpose A times vector X equals A transpose times vector B, which gives us the following matrix equation, which we now need to solve for M and B. Let's do this on the next slide. Writing the augmented matrix, the first row is 59, 11, 26. The second row is 11, 3, 10. Writing the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, the first row is 1, 0, and negative 4 sevenths, which indicates m equals negative 4 sevenths. The second row is 0, 1, 38 sevenths, which indicates b equals 38 sevenths. And therefore, the line of best fit is y equals negative 4 sevenths x plus 38 sevenths. Let's go ahead and graph this line on the coordinate plane. This red line is the line of best fit using the least square solution. The least square solution minimizes the sum of the squares of the vertical distances from the points and the line of best fit. I hope you found this helpful.